بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله شمانيت مسلياني كرام بھائيو بونيرا اپنا در شامنے کسو بشائر شرون ابھی کربو انشاءاللہ اے شرون امار نیجر جنو ابن اپنا در شکل جنو انشاءاللہ حر عزیز اللہ فکر ابرو عزت توفق دان کرو بشائر گلو ہوت چھے امرا جے شما جے جے دشے بشو باش کر چھی ए समाज ए देश आम्रा जेखान थे के ऐसे ची तार थे के भिन्न जेकोनो भिन्न परिस्थिति भिन्न एक्शन दाबी करे इटे ही स्वाभाविक इटे ही मानुषेर जीवन चालान और पद्धति आमी अपना दर सामने आमादेर निजी देर कर्तव्यों निजी देर के सामने रखे निजी देर जुन्नो आर जे समाज आम्रा बसवास कोट्ची इसे समाज रखोती आमादेर की कर्तव्यों की दायित्व ऐशंपर के संख्य पे जहितु समाए खुबी शंकिन प्रथम होच्छे अल्लाह फक्रा बोले जुद बोले चे नाम दर के इन्न लदीन अकालु रब्बुन अल्लाहु सुम मस्तकाम अम्रा अल्लाह के अल्लाह बोले शिकार कर बो आरतालु पर इस्तिकामत थक बो द्रियो थक बो मजबूत भावे थक बो मजबूत भावे थकते होले कि आम दर कुटते हबे बैपो कालोचना आचे जा करा समय ऐकोन हो बिना एक्टिव विषय के आमी शुद्ध उल्लेख करते चाहे जाल्ला ताला बोले चेन कलामे पाके जामादेर ईमान के परीक्षा करे देखा होगे वाला नबलु वन नकुम विषयी मिनल खाफी वाल जुआ वा नक्श मिनल अमवाल वाल अनफुसी वा समरात आमादेर ईमान आमादेर पुर आमादेर विश्वास के प परीक्षा है जोखन अम्रा पढ़ो, तोखन अम्रा किभा बिरियाक करो, कारण ऐसा हमारे आमादेर पुरी बारे या समाजे, खोने खोने ही हमारे सामने परीक्षा आसे, शे परीक्षा र मौका वाला किभा बे करो, अल्लाह ताला बोले चेन, जोखने ही परीक्षा आसे, इन्ना लिल्लाही व इन्ना इलाही राजियों, इर मानी होती है जब अम्रा प्रथम मौका वाला कर बो आध्यात्मिक भावे, विश्वास गोत भावे, विश्वास एक दिखते के, विपद आशार साथे साथे ही अम्रा कोनो मैटेरियल फिजिकल एक्शन अम्रा नहीं बोना, शारीरिक कोनो एक्शन नहीं बोना, प्रथम जे जिनिस टा कुटते हावे, शेटा अच्छी स्पिरिचुअल, आध्यात्मिक, अल्लाह पक्कूद के ऐसे छ ऐते आमादेर के मेरे नीते हाँ, तार पोरे आमादेर के बुद्धि बित्तिक दिश्ती कौन थे के निज़दर बुद्धि दिए तार मुकाबला करते हावे, तार पोरे आपनी फिजिकल एक्शन ने बेन, जो दिया आम्रा उल्टा टक कोरी, प्रथम आम्रा चिल्ला फल्ला कोरे, एर पोरे आम्रा है तो शांत तो हुई, किंतु अल्लाह ताला बोल चेन, प्रथ शांत होते हैं हमें, सब और अवलंबन करते हैं हमें। That is the process। इतने अल्लाह ताला आमद के बोलते हैं। दूसरी जो ये point है अपना तो सामने बोलते चाहे छेता होते हैं, जेकुनो काज आम्रा कुरी, काजेर, purpose टकी, उद्देश्य टकी, छेता आमद के जरिये नहीं तो हमें। दीनेर जेकुनो काज, जब ना अल्लाह ताला बोले सें, जामरदे नमाज़ आमादर के अनेक फ़ाहेशा थे के बीरोतराग दे, ऐटा हले उद्देश्य। अखान आमादर जीवन जो दी परिवर्तन ना आशे, 
আর যদি আমরা শুধু রুকু সাজদা দিতেই থাকি দিতেই থাকি অবশ্যই দিতে হবে কিন্তু পারপাস আমাদের সার্ভ হচ্ছে কি না আর আমরা গুরুত্ব কোনটার দিচ্ছি আমরা আমাদের হসু হজুর হজুর গুরুত্ব দিচ্ছি না আমরা গুরুত্ব দিচ্ছি আমাদের রুকু সেজদার অবয়ব কাঠামোগত দৃষ্টিকোণ থেকে এজন্য যে কোনো শরীর কাজের দিনের কাজের পারপাসটা আমাদেরকে জানতে হবে যেন গুরুত্ব আমরা সঠিকভাবে দিতে পারি এবং মানুষের সাথে মানে যে সমস্ত জিনিস ইম্পর্টেন্ট নয় গুরুত্বপূর্ণ নয় সেসব জিনিস নিয়ে যেন আমরা অন্যথা আলোচনায় জড়িয়ে না পড়ি তৃতীয় নম্বর হচ্ছে যে আমাদেরকে আল্লাহ তালা বলছেন কু আল ফুসাকুম ওয়ালিকুম নারা নিজেদেরকে এবং নিজেদের পরিবারদেরকে বাঁচাও আমরা সারা দুনিয়া পরিবর্তনের চেষ্টা করি কিন্তু আমরা নিজেদেরকে ভুলে যাই আতা মরুনা না সাবিল বর ও আতান সাউনা আন ফুসাকো মানুষকে তোমরা উপদেশ দিতে থাকো আর নিজেদেরকে ভুলে যাও সেই অবস্থা আমাদের এই জন্য আল্লাহ বলছেন প্রায়োরিটি হচ্ছে গুরুত্ব হচ্ছে নিজেদেরকে আগে বাঁচাতে হবে নিজেদের পরিবারকে বাঁচাতে হবে তারপরে আপনার আশেপাশে তারপরে দেশ তারপরে সারা দুনিয়া আপনাকে বাঁচানোর জন্য চেষ্টা করতে হবে আমাদেরকে বসবাস করতে হবে টুডে আজকে যেখানে আমরা আছি এখানে আমাদেরকে বসবাস করতে হবে আমরা মানে একশো বছর দুশো বছর পাঁচশো বছরের যেই সিচুয়েশন ওয়ার্ল্ডের সেটা ফেরত এনে সেখানে আমরা বসবাস করতে পারবো না আমাদেরকে ওই স্মার্ট ফোনের যুগেই বসবাস করতে হবে এবং আল্লাহ তালা বলছেন খালা কালা কু মা ফিল আরজি জামিয়া তোমাদের জন্য আল্লাহ তালা সব কিছু সৃষ্টি করেছেন কিন্তু আবার তো আল্লাহ বলছেন যে কোল আউদ বেরা বিল ফালাক মিন সারি মা ফালাক যে সমস্ত সৃষ্টির মধ্যেই ভালো আছে মন্দ আছে ইবল আছে ইবল থেকে তোমাদেরকে বেঁচে থাকতে হবে কিন্তু ভালো জিনিস যা আছে আমাদেরকে দুনিয়ার সমস্ত কিছু এমনভাবে ব্যবহার করতে হবে তারা আমাদের আমাদের খাদিন আমাদেরকে খেদমত করবে আর আমরা আল্লাহ তালাকে খেদমত করবে এভাবেই করতে হবে আমাদেরকে আমরা যেন আমাদের নেইবারদের সাথে পিসফুলি বসবাস করতে পারি ইসলাম মানে হচ্ছে পিসফুল পিসফুলি আমরা যেন বসবাস করতে পারি এই মেসেজটা যেন আমরা দিতে পারি আমাদের নেইবারদেরকে আমরা যেন বসবাস কর এই দেশের মানুষের সাথে একত্রিত হয়ে যেইসব জিনিস সবার জন্য ভালো সেই সব জিনিস যেন আমরা একসাথে করতে পারি সেই চেষ্টা আমাদেরকে করতে হবে ইসলাম ইসলামের অ্যাম্বাসেডার আমরা আমরা প্রতিনিধি আমাদের কথা এবং কাজে যেন ইসলামের একটা সুন্দর নমুনা ফুটে উঠে সেই চেষ্টা আমাদেরকে করতে হবে আমাদের আচার ব্যবহার দিয়ে ইসলামকে আমাদের তাদের সামনে পেশ করতে হবে এরপর আমাদের তখনই আমরা এটা করতে পারবো আমাদের মধ্যে যদি একটা সেন্স অফ বিলংগিং থাকে আমরা যদি এই দেশের মানুষ হই তারা যদি আমাদেরকে এই দেশের মানুষ মনে করে এই দেশের কল্যাণকামী আমরা হই যেভাবে নু আলাহাম বলেছিলেন ইনি আফু আলাইকুম আজাব আজিম যে হে আমার জাতির লোক আমার জাতির লোক তিনি বলেছেন তিনি সেই জাতির লোক ছিলেন এবং বলছেন যে আমি তোমাদের জন্য ভয় করি দেখেন কি মায়া কি মোহব্বত দিয়ে তিনি তাদের সাথে কথা বলেছিলেন তো আসুন আমরা ইনশাআল্লাহ এই কয়েকটা কথা আপনাদের সামনে আমি পেশ করলাম আসুন আমি নিজে ইনশাআল্লাহ এবং আমরা সবাই মিলে এর উপর আমল করার চেষ্টা করি ইনশাআল্লাহ হরাজ my dear brothers and sisters i have chosen a topic is our responsibility as individuals as muslim community as well as our responsibility towards the wider community i'd like to very briefly mention a couple of points the first point is as we know that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the quran ان الذين قالوا ربنا الله ثم استقاموا تتنزل عليكم عليهم الملائكه when we say allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our rob then we have to be firm with it meaning we have to obey the commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there are so many 
areas we can discuss and we should discuss, but the time will not allow. We have to stick to our faith in action and in words. Now, one area I would like to highlight, which is, I think, very important, that is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in many places of the Quran that when we claim to be believers, when we claim our faith, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test us with fear, famine, loss of property and life, loss of production in farming and in industry. The test will be there. This is when the test is in extreme, in extreme situation, in extreme way. But every day we face calamities, we face problems in our family, with our children, outside, at our work, in the street. Everywhere we face problems. Sometimes you are spat on. You are thrown things at. All these things happen. So how do we face it? How do we still be firm with our faith? Stick to our faith. We still continue moving on. Allah SWT said that whenever a calamity falls upon you, the first reaction would be one of a spiritual reaction. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajaun. That should be the first reaction. First reaction is not shouting, screaming, and uh, physical action. That is not first. If you do that first, that we are going to fail. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us a process. First, we have to say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajaun. Whatever I am going through is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are from Allah, we are going towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, returning to Him. وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتُ مُصِيبَ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَّهِ رَاجِعُونَ We have to be patient and face, face it spiritually first. And then be calm, sober. And then we have to use whatever intellectual capacity Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. An action I have to take which will be beneficial, which will not make situation worse. It will be beneficial. So use your spiritual uh, strength first, then your intellectual capacity, then you decide what action you are going to take. If we follow this process, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's rahma will be on us. Ulaika ala salawat mi rabbihim wa rahma. The we will be under Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy, the following verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. So therefore it is important that we follow this process whenever we are faced with any calamity, any problems. Second point I would like to mention, brothers and sisters, we have to know the purpose of any action, any uh, duties, religious duties, or otherwise. We have to know the purpose. We know that Allah SWT mentioned in the Quran about prayer, about fasting, fasting for, for taqwa. Prayer will prevent or protect us from evil, from fahasha wal munkar. So the purpose, and also Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in a hadith, that so many people, they fast, but they only achieve hunger. So many people, they pray at night, they just remain awake. They do not actually achieve the purpose. So it is important that we know importance, we know purpose. One of the greatest contribution of our fuqaha, that they uh, concluded or decided which task is formed, which one is wajib, which one is nafal, which one is mustahab. Great task they have done for us. We have to understand that. 
so that we give emphasis on right things. But most of the time, we are engaged with trivial matters because we lost the purpose. We don't even think about the purpose. Ibadah, we need a spiritual uh, you know, connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through our ibadah. We have to be humble in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or as a person, very humble. But are we achieving that? Or we are just engaged with, in our outward, if you like, this, this uh, structure of our ibadah. This is really important that we understand. We know the purpose and accordingly, inshallah, we get, give emphasis so that we avoid arguing about very trivial things. Number three, Allah SWT said that Qū anfusakum wa ahlikum nara First responsibility, my responsibility is towards me. Your responsibility towards you. First. Then to your ahl. Then to others. So again, this is a process. But what people do, Allah said about the uh, followers of Musa alayhi salam, what they used to do, أَتَأْمُرُونَ النَّاسَ بِالْبِرُّ وَتَنْسَوْنَ أَنفُسَكُمْ Allah said, you give good advice to other people and you forget about yourselves. So first thing is, we save ourselves. Nowadays, a good number of us, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help and guide us, we are concerned about the ummah. Of course, we have to be concerned about ummah, not in expense of forgetting my own self. So we forget ourselves and concern about all other matters. So as a consequence, what is happening? Nothing is changing. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that unless you change, in Allah la yughayiru ma biqawmin hatta yughayiru ma bi anfusin. If we don't change ourselves, situation is not going to change. Because when people change, then people change the situation. But we are not changing ourselves, not changing people. We are just trying to change the situation. Who is going to change that? It's not going to happen. So we are giving priority to wrong things. Wrong things. Number three, we have to live today and here. We have to live today and here, in this country, so that we, 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 sh we need to know how to live in this country and present day. You, we can't live in the past, and we don't know what's going to be in the future, but our responsibility is to work to make future better. Hope that future will be better. We have to leave our children in a better condition than us. They should live in a more peacefully than us. So that should be our hope and aspiration. But we have to live today, Allah SWT said, modern day, today's world, completely different. Today's world, and we have to live in today's world. Allah SWT said, خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا Everything Allah created for human. And Allah created human to worship Allah. So we have to make everything our slaves, and we have to be slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is really important, that we understand the present situation, present circumstances, present conditions, and what are we facing, what our children are facing, what the society is facing. And then we have to talk about that and then take inspiration and lessons and knowledge from the past so that we always remain in the boundary of Islam. Remain in the boundary of Islam, not like isolating ourselves, completely, you know, blocking ourselves from the, our surrounding area and then live in the past and try to change. That's not going to happen and that is not perhaps the... Uh, will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because nothing unusual happens. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his sunnah and everything follows, you know, his sunnah. If we try, we are not going to uh, be able to change because whatever is happening the, in the world, 
everything with the uh, with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. You know, why happening and how is happening and how change is going to come. Allah's, uh, everything is in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's knowledge. Everything is in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's control. And we have to accept that, inshallah. We have to, brothers and sisters, Islam, we talk about is peace. How peaceful are we? In my attitude, in my temperament, in my everyday living, how peaceful am I? When I react to something, do I react peacefully? When I uh, deal with my neighbors, my colleagues, peaceful? So we have to demonstrate peace through our actions, and we have to live peacefully with our neighbors, with our countrymen. When we recite the verse of Quran, you enter Islam completely. What does it mean? Be in complete peace in Muamilat. But we just some uh, faraid and nawafil or all these um, instructions we have been given and we always believe, we always think that we have to do that, that uh, fully, abide by the rules and regulations, that's fine, we are entering Islam completely. But we are forgetting actually ultimate target of Islam, peace in this world and peace in hereafter. So that peace with our neighbors, we are countrymen, and we have to demonstrate that through our action, inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said also in the Quran, Ta'awanu ala al birri wa taqwa, wa la ta'awanu ala al ismi wal udwan. You help each other, you cooperate with each other in birr. Birr, so many meanings, one meaning is welfare. So human welfare, when something is human welfare, human, not only for Muslims, it's human, and you cooperate with others, lots of scholars, Mufassirin say, that's common good, common good, you can do together with anybody and everybody. Faith doesn't matter. Muslim, non-Muslim doesn't matter. Something good for everybody. And you must cooperate with other people to achieve that. Common good. Because when something common good, that is good for everybody. I'll be benefiting from them. Everybody will be benefiting from, for them. So Muslims always have to be open-minded to cooperate in common good. And that's an instruction we are getting from the... Uh, from the Quran. Also, we are uh, ambassadors of Islam, brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us, Udu'ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati wal mawizati hasana You call to the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with hikmah and good advice. So this is Fundamental responsibility we have while we are living with non-Muslims. This opportunity, a lot of people, a lot of Muslims who are living in Muslim countries, most of them don't have this opportunity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this opportunity to invite people towards Islam, to the um, way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, how do we do that? Do we just do it through our words, our lectures, or our Facebook message, or our Twitter? All these we are saying, saying, saying. There are a lot of words uh, around us about inviting people. Actually, if you analyze, you will find we are talking to ourselves. All these communication we are having, among ourselves, we are actually 
not presenting Islam to others. And best way of presenting Islam to others is idfa billati hiya ahsan, Allah SWT said. We have to repay. When somebody misbehaves with me, I have to react positively, don't answer back, but I do something different. I repay with something good. Somebody swearing at me, I'm not swearing back. Somebody is trying to overtake me, you know, on the road, is an illegal way. And then when he does it, and I try to, you know, chase and go in front of him. A lot of people do that. That's not the way of Muslims. Way of Muslims is different. You have to be patient. And you do not repay the same way. If he does something bad, you do not re repay the same way. So that is a... Uh, the, uh, that is the command Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. So let us follow the com command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, follow the sunnah of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not the way we think is, is good or our, our, uh, sometimes our emotion, some, sometimes our whim, so did, let's, inshallah, follow the sunnah of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Example of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And command given in the Quran by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah al-azim al-jaleel li wa lakum wa lisa'il al-muslimin min kulli dham fa astaghfiruhu innahu huwa al-ghafur al-rahim. Brothers and sisters, I've been talking about that how do we present ourselves in, term, in front of our neighbors, especially in front of non-Muslims. Uh, non -Muslims. Now, our words are not going to work if our actions prove something different. We say Islam is good, we Muslims are not good. We say so many good things we can talk about Islam. But our neighbors, our countrymen, do they look into our books? Do they ever read our books? They don't. They read us. They read us and they take message from us, our conduct, our life our behavior, our mu'amilat. So they learn from there. If we say Muslim, you know, we sin, Muslim avoid sin, right? But unfortunately, in this country, we are about 5%. But jail population, you know, of this country, Muslims, 16%. So, where we are they going to take message from? This data, that statistics. So our da'wah should be there. We have to prove through statistics, through data, not through words. That's not going to happen. That was maybe in the past. World has changed. Information is available, available now. People can compare and contrast. People now can say, which one is the good news and which one is uh, true news, which one is the fake news. People can say that. And then more time is going and more people will be able to say. So we cannot hide anything and we cannot try to prove ourselves good while our actions are not. And the last point, we have to show through our actions that we belong to this society. We belong, we are not strangers, we are not outsiders, we are not foreigners. As Nuh alayhi salatu salam, he said to his, not only Nuh alayhi salam, lots of prophets, see in the Quran, they said, Ya qawmi, Ya qawmi, oh my nation, 
Oh my people. Can you say that? Oh my nation, oh my people. If we can't say that, why? Is it something psychological? Or is it lack of skills? Or it is our attitude? Or it is, is it our misunderstanding? We have to think about this. Because we should be able, if we really want these people to come to Islam, we should be able to say, Ya Qawmi, oh my people, we have to go there. If we can't go there, then we'll fail in our responsibility. Inna Allah malaykatahu yusalluni ala nabi Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallamu wa taslima Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad Kama sallaytu ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim indaka hamidun majid Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad Kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim indaka hamidun majid Allahumma ahdina fi man hadayd Wa aafina fi man aafayd Wa tawallana fi man tawallayd وقنا شر ما قضيت إنك لا تقضي ولا ولا يقضى عليك وإنه لا يزل من وليت ولا يعز من عاديت تبارك ربنا وتعاليت لك الحمد على ما قضيت ولك الشكر على ما عطيت نستغفرك اللهم من جميع الذنوب والخطايا ونتوب إليك اللهم انصر من نصر الدين واخذل من خذل عبادك المؤمنين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين عباد الله إن الله يأمر يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعزكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله العظيم يذكركم واشكروه ويزدكم واستغفروه يغفر لكم واتقوه يجعل لكم من أمركم أخرج واقم الصلاة